Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to convert a Minecraft PE world into Minecraft Java Edition. This is a really simple task, all you need is just uh, one thing that you need to download on your computer, and I'll show you that later in the video. So right now I'm on my iPhone, we're just going to press play, we're going to find the world that we want. So for now I'm just going to do this test world that I have right here. So as you can see, I just loaded it into the world. Uh, right now, I just have a wall of diamonds. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have in this world, but... Yeah, so this is the world I'm going to be converting into Java. And when I convert it, you guys will see the diamond wall. So all you need is the world, and uh, let's have it over to the computer. Okay, here I am on my computer. Uh, you're gonna have to go to this link right here. If you don't want to type it in, I have a link in the description, so you can just go right there. You're gonna download MCC Toad Chest for PE. This one right here. Right here. And then once you've downloaded it, you'll get this tool. Okay? So, let's put this aside for right now. And you're going to have to open up iTunes. You're going to also have that installed on your computer. So you just go get it from the Apple store. The Apple website, sorry. So see, I have it open up here. You're going to click on your phone. Here's my phone. Uh, you're going to go to file sharing. You're going to click on Minecraft. Is everything now you're just gonna click on games because that's where all your worlds are stored and you're gonna click save right and then doesn't matter you can just save it on your desktop it's copying right here so here it is this is it right here just gonna open that I'm gonna go calm that mojang minecraft worlds right here so they might have a different name you can just go in it and find the name see this is not it let's try to find the name It's gotta be this one. Okay. Yeah, test world. See, it's this one right here. You're just gonna drag this out to your desktop. You can rename it if you want. So this is it right here. You don't really need this anymore, but you're just gonna have it there. So now you're gonna wanna open MCC tool chest. So it's open, you're going to want to go to tools, actually wait, hold on, you're going to open folder, there we go, you're going to click this little file thing here, you're going to go open folder, you're going to go to desktop, and here's my world right here, you're going to select folder, there, all the stuff should be here now, you're going to click tools, you're going to go to convert, and you're going to convert to Java, so you click Java. All this should be fine. Um, it will convert to 1.14, but everything should work in 1.16 because the world originally was from 1.16. So this will work in version 1.16.3. So don't worry about that. But still, convert it in the highest setting that you find here. So 1.14. Uh, here's everything. I'm just gonna 
extend it to... Okay, this should st go straight to your uh, world saves. So click convert. So it completed. Now you don't need this anymore. So just close that off. You're gonna press Windows and R at the same time on your keyboard. This will come up. You're gonna type in percentage, app data, percentage. You're gonna click OK. This should come up. You're gonna click dot Minecraft. So these are all your worlds on your computer. You're gonna click saves and test world. It's right here. And it has all the information that you need to run it on Java edition. So I'm gonna open up Minecraft. One point sixteen point three. This is also a great way to create backups for your PE world, so you can just have it on your computer, like in this file. You just want to store your PE worlds, you can have it here. This is also great so that if you have an old iPad or something that can't update anymore, you can just convert it to Java and have it on your computer. So I'm in Minecraft 1.16.3, let's go to single player, test world, it's right here at the top. It says version 1.14, but it's not in 1.14, it's in 1.16, because of um, it was originally from 1.16, so it should be fine. Still create a backup just in case anything happens, because you can never know when your world gets corrupted. So I have a backup now. This will take a little while. Because it's a new world into your game, so this might take a few seconds. Okay, now I'm in the world with the diamond blocks here, and the wall. Let's see if I can go into creative mode and fly around. There we go. This is the same exact world I'm in Minecraft Java Edition. Those are all the steps you need. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.